find Amazon keywords that are easier to rank for. Why is this important and how can it make you money? You can't just make a listing magically appear at the top of page one for every single keyword. But guess what? There's ways that you can actually have a chance to show up at page one almost from day one. And one of these ways is by looking for keywords where almost nobody has that keyword inside of the title, but you do. Now, I'm not saying that, hey guys, just throw any keyword into your title just so you can rank for it. If it's a highly relevant one, then this is what you should do. But the way to find out if there's keywords that not many people have in their title is by using a metric inside a Cerebro called title density. So title density means that out of all the listings on page one, the last time that Helium 10 checked, how many of those products have that search term in the title? So for example, this keyword right here, coffin bookshelves, the title density for this is zero because the last time that Helium 10 checked, nobody had it in their title. What does that mean? That means that if I put the word coffin bookshelves in my listing in my title and I'm the only one, there's a really good chance I could be on page one from day one of me searching even before I get any sales. That's the way that the Amazon algorithm sometimes works. Now take this other example here on this page. We have a keyword coffin treat boxes. And the last time that Helium 10 checked, there were 28 listings on page one that had the keyword coffin treat boxes in it. Now, does that mean that, oh, I shouldn't put this keyword inside my title if that's what I'm selling? Cause it's going to be really hard to rank. No, if that's your most important keyword, you should still put it in your title, but now you're going to have a little bit less visibility. And at least, you know, that from the jump. I'm not going to be on page one from day one. I'll probably have to put in other strategies, other efforts to make sure that that happens. There's 28 other listings that might have the same keyword in the title. And so now that you've got that visibility, thanks to the title density column, you can make your decisions from there. Now, if you wanted to, let's say filter, like show me all the keywords from this list where title density is below five. Well, we have a filter for that. So you can enter in a minimum and a maximum for title density. One other metric that we do have that has to do with ranking is going to be called CPR number. And that stands for Cerebro product rank. This is the number of units that it would take for people to buy your product after searching for a keyword to give you the best chance of getting to page one. So you could see that here, there's a keyword called coffin letterboard and the CPR number is four. That means if you've got a listing and you want to get to page one for coffin letterboard, you need like about 34 or at least 30 people over the course of eight days to search for that keyword, find your product and then buy it. You know, like how are you even going to do that if you're not on page one? Probably PPC is a good way, but that's the number that's going to give you the best chance of getting to page one. Now I'm going to just very lightly get into this topic. Amazon launch is a very, very deep topic. If you really want to do a deep dive into ranking or launching, we've got a couple modules in Freedom Ticket about it. Go ahead and check that out. We also have some podcast episodes. It's episode 466 and 467. You can find that at h10.me forward slash 466 or forward slash 467. And for the full launch strategy, the latest episode we have is episode 500. We call that the Maldives honeymoon launch strategy, h10.me forward slash 500. Bradley's actually about to go record another episode in the Maldives pretty soon. So be on the lookout for that. And then you can get the breakdown of the strategy on how to get to page one. But again, these two important metrics, title density and CPR, why is it important? Well, you want to be able to know how to get to page one in the most economical way, correct? And it's going to make you money instead of wasting your money on a keyword that might be really, really competitive. And you might not even have a chance to get to page one. This will allow you to focus in the beginning on those less competitive keywords so you can get the most bang for your buck when you launch your product. I'll see you in the next video.